Hello, my name is Braden Monroe, and I am a freshman at the University of Arkansas. The piece of art that I've decided to focus on is located in historic downtown Hot Springs. This small Arkansas town attracts tourists from all over the country due to its natural hot springs. My piece is actually a sculpture called Mother Nature by Langua Zoo. This sculpture came to be after the town held a competition for sculptors from all over the world to submit a sculpture design that would capture the essence of hot springs. Many esteemed artists submitted their designs, but in 1992, Langua's design was chosen. This opportunity would change his life drastically. Langua Zhu was born in Shanghai, China, and from an early age, his parents noticed his impressive artistic talents. They encouraged him to pursue a career in art, so he studied art at the East China University of Technology. He primarily focused his efforts on sculpting. After graduating, Langua taught art at Shanghai University for many years. He constantly searched for new ways to improve himself as an artist, and this motivated him to search for a place where he could learn new skills. By winning the design contest, he had an opportunity to travel to the U.S. where he could collaborate with different artists and grow as a sculptor. Upon its creation, Mother Nature amazed the residents of Hot Springs with its beauty. Zhu instantly became an iconic figure among the art community in the town. The citizens of Hot Springs were so touched by the piece that former President Bill Clinton wrote Langua a letter thanking him for his artistic testament to the city. Mother Nature also held the rare distinction of being listed in the Smithsonian catalog. Langua decided to make Hot Springs his permanent home, and he continues to amaze people with a growing number of sculptures he has constructed for the city. Langua's Mother Nature consists of five figures a mom, a son, and three deer. It depicts the mother pouring water from a pitcher. This sculpture is also a fountain, and the water actually flows from the mother's pitcher. The son and group of deer are depicted in anticipation of the water. The deer surround the mother and son, and this makes them the focal point of the sculpture. This sculpture was constructed using a combination of materials including fiberglass resin, a marble dust composite, steel, and chicken wire. The sculpture is painted a shade of white. The white color adds to the purity of the sculpture. The organic shape of the sculpture makes it seem almost lifelike. A viewer can see the muscles and veins in the legs of the deer. The deer to the right appears to have a frightened look on its face, and its natural stance also seems a little defensive. The other deer also seem to be somewhat wary of the humans in the sculpture. An actual deer would be extremely timid if it were to approach a human, and Langu is able to translate this natural behavior into his art. The mother and son are very organic in shape as well. They are both draped in flowing gowns that crease and fold realistically against their bodies. Their stances are clear examples of contrapposto. The boy has all of his weight on his left leg as he leans toward the flowing water. The mother is resting most of her weight on her right leg, and it seems as if, as if she is trying to steady herself as she pours the pitcher of water. Her stance is realistic because the pitcher is most likely very heavy and hard to pour. All of these elements combine to produce an extremely naturalistic sculpture. This sculpture can be interpreted using the iconographic methodology. Although this sculpture is very aesthetically pleasing, the importance of this piece lies in the symbolism of its content. Langu wanted the water and nature of hot springs to be at the center of the piece. The mother represents giving nature the landscape of hot springs. She gives life to both the child and the animals in the sculpture. The natural hot springs in this town provide clean water to all of its inhabitants. This sculpture is a symbol of what makes this town so unique. This sculpture is a clear example of contemporary idealism. This piece is also very realistic, but the mother and son are very idealized in the way they are portrayed. The mother has an hourglass figure that is perfect in every way, and both of their faces are also idealized. This sculpture shares many similarities of art from the classical Greek period. The statue also seems to be inspired by Artemis, the goddess of the natural environment. Many ancient Greek sculptures depicted Artemis surrounded by deer. This is because deer were so sacred to her. I chose this piece because it is an iconic part of my hometown. It is very difficult to find a sculpture that is more expertly crafted than this one. It beautifully exemplifies the things about hot springs that make it so special to me. Additionally, this sculpture had such a huge impact not only on the city, but the artists who created it. Langua Zhu found a place where he could be fulfilled as an artist. Hot Springs allowed him to unlock his true potential. In my opinion, this is truly what makes this piece of art so significant.